Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media Truder, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Where last time, as you can see from our beautiful, magnificent tree, we celebrated Christmas right here at the marina. And today I think I know precisely where we're going to be going next. Because you see, a small child in pyjamas came up to me and said, Hey, you should come and meet the CPD, who would appear to be like post-apocalypse police, who don't like the gunners. And I don't like the gunners either, so this here, this could flip in work. Not least as, rather conveniently, they are located just around the corner from the castle, and uh, I need to go to the castle because, yes, I've got missions to turn in with Preston Garvey. Before we do, though, okay, step by step here, wanna have a nice big drink. Two, given I'm already sick and thus need to use antibiotics regardless, we may as well just, you know, use a bit of rad away to get rid of the rats. That's going to make me hungry and tired, that's absolutely fine. As I'm now tired, sleep till tomorrow morning, with so much rad away in my system, it is extraordinarily likely I'll get sick, and then again, actually, I did develop insomnia fairly recently, suggesting possibly I'm still in, like, you know, the grace period, when you can't get sick again, so... Okay, genuinely not sure, and... Uh, nope, just parch. Must still be in the grace period. So, okay, in which case... Down are the antibiotics. That makes me even more thirsty, but that's fine. Just one quick drink, we'll sort that out, and... Uh, there we flippy go. Back to normal. Ah, yes, and that does remind me. Do I have enough crafting materials to, yes, do something with the best Christmas present I got last week? The Mighty Combat Shotgun. Okay, step one, just strip existing parts off my current combat shotgun. That gets me most of the way to, yeah, a pretty damn functional machine. But unfortunately, while I just have enough adhesive, I'm lacking in aluminium or oil, so I can't go over to advanced just yet. Though I do curiously have, yes, a hair trigger receiver floating around, so I tell you what, this'll do the job just fine. We'll go over to it now. Okay, with that in play, let's make a move, and yes, I would say, best starting off point would be head to Jamaica Plain. We'll cut through, yes, the already clear area around Fallon and Shore and whatnot, because uh, there might well be some looting we can do for that oil we need. Okay, moseying around Fallon's and... Uh, Something's alive around here. This is normally super mutant territory. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of thought they were all like, you know, dead. The Brotherhood definitely, like, you know, uh, took out most of them, so... Uh, okay, I'm hearing a tiny bit of gunfire nearby, but it's kind of half-hearted to my mind. Like, you know, uh, nothing too worrying or dangerous. Hang about! Okay, want a radar over there, buddy, just hold it still and... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, you took that like a cocky champ, well done, so no! There you go. I'm in danger, but if raiders are shooting at something, that would suggest something else was, you know, shooting back and no! Alright, lovely. Backed how it should be. Whatever they were shooting at, probably gonna be nice to me, hopefully, anyway. Okay, no more trouble around here, so, right, let's make our way on to Jamaica Plain, because, uh, yeah, there's a tiny bit of looting to be done. An old broken-down series of houses you can get into, that's never gonna be a bad place to start. That's gonna be all. Okay, just a handful of raiders. No need to cause trouble with them. Then again, actually, you know what, John? You are in, like... Why well, have only got, like, ten bullets from a sniper rifle? That feels like that's, like, you know... John, it's because you moved it over to, you know, a 50 caliber. That thing you don't have much of. And then, okay, right, that's that's good. Go into the 10 millimeter. 10 millimeters fine. Let's just, you know... Get over to Jamaica Plain. That's fine. That's just nice, soft, squishy ghouls. So, okay, we're entering, a, yeah, the north side of town. This should be empty in terms of a ghoul. So, uh, for the time being, we should be able to, yeah, do some nice, easy looting. Oil or aluminium, uh, that would be the good stuff. 
And you know what? Random ghouls are going to be good at this. Like, ghouls can drop good stuff. Right here. Gold-plated flip lighter. That's oil. Maga flipping nificent And, uh, oh, I can never resist a desk fan, obviously. So, uh, right. Keep on keeping on and move from a house to house. Check everything. But yeah, as we go further south, eventually we're going to hit a house which I've not already cleared out. I just can't remember, you know... Uh, precisely how far we got into town last time I was here. Okay, brackets are starting to shuffle on occasion, so... Right. Mosey on into the store here. Let's get some reinforcements on my side. Couple of robots can help me take out the ghouls. Right, you two lads go deal with the zombies. I'm gonna stay here and loop the place, because, yeah, this shop's actually not bad at all. Okay, we've reached. Here we go. Churchyard. Definitely not taking out all of you, but yeah, sleeping lads instigating 10mm should do an excellent job all by itself. Magnificent. So down you go, even against Reavers, uh, that's still doing the job just fine. Some of them are starting to, you know, wake up a little bit, though. Excuse me. No, you don't. Instigating will take care of, yeah, the babies with that first powerful shot. Right, step the next chair. Let's just clear out the town, go into the church, etc, etc. I swear in yes, one previous run at one point, we had a really good legendary drop going on in this place. So, uh, keep on keeping on. Don't mind me, buddy. Down you. Okay, lucky I wasn't standing in here, really. And hang on, there's definitely... Uh... Okay, there's suddenly definitely, like, you know, movement going on. That's just a roamer, though, John. The angle is not working for you there. That's all absolutely fine. Just one and two. He definitely hit me a little bit. Back off. Okay, for now, I see one stalker up there. If I can, there we go. Nice. Straight through the floor. Lovely. Oh, and hello, sexy upstairs. We've got ourselves an oil can. Okay. That oil is moving in the right direction. This little hunting trip is doing what we needed to do. Magnificent. So, uh, keep on keeping on. Right. Then we should be able to, uh, yeah, still a bit of sniping down into the church if we're lucky. There's definitely more in here, right? There's got to be on. Maybe we're just going up here to get, like, you know, uh, the key off that chappy's body. I can't recall. Well, bare minimum, we can hop up into the tower. Mosey on down, nice and careful. I swear there's going to be more yet. Even if, yeah, Vats claims it can't detect it. Because the brackets are definitely, you know, uh, going swish a tiny amount here. Hang on, where are you, buddy? Just disarm that. Help us up to a few bits and pieces. Well, something's alive around here. Oh, and better and cocking better. Here we go. Drugs, flip lighters, oil. Okay. As I was expecting, yeah, this is an excellent opportunity. It's just, you know, uh, top up my various supplies in various ways. So... Why is no one attacking me? I don't like the fact no one's attacking me. It worries me. I'm going over to a combat rifle. I've just decided I want something a bit more, you know, uh, meaty at the moment. Something is really nearby and I can't remember what it is, but whatever. We'll just help ourselves to, you know, uh, yep, ID cards, etc, etc. Gotta pull off these chains. Does something like spawn outside and... It was my friend the robot, wasn't it? Okay, well I know there's definitely something still in like, you know, this building because door's closed. I've not been in it yet, so you go down. And you, buddy, go down to a couple of shots now. Lovely, we're definitely still in caution. Not danger, just shut the door. We might be able to do a little bit through the window if we're lucky. Music's already calming down. Good start. Don't forget, yeah, there's going to be something a lot nastier upstairs. Like, you know, a withered or something is a guaranteed spawn up in the office. But now I hang about. Something thinks it knows about me. Just a stalker. Nothing too dramatic there. Lovely. Down you go, buddy. Already most of the way to another level. And another lighter for my trouble. Okay. This has been a good expedition. 
Right, combat rifle. Prepare for trouble. It's about to... I'm going to be honest, more trouble than I was expecting there, actually. Okay, just take you out as a starting point. Good. Uh, next up, we've got... Uh, ooh, um... Crit in the head for you. Uh, that's enough to get the kill there. And the withered is... Uh, yeah, not yet down on the ground properly, so we can just uh, finish you off. Uh, okay. I'm going to be honest, I'd forgotten there were multiple in here. So, right, the withered was not so uh, dangerous. Then gets me even uh, more bits and pieces uh, pertaining to uh, this mission, together with, uh, yes, guaranteed combat armor set. If you want a nice, easy, early guaranteed combat armor set, you can get it right here. Okay, Mr. Legendary, what have you... Why do legendaries just sometimes not have legendaries? I've seen this on occasion, it's very weird and I don't know why it happens. And the steamer trunk a bit on the underwhelming side too, so... Uh, okay, I'll just take the ammunition, sure, why not? Though actually, funny old thing, I'm not wearing a legendary chest piece right now, so in which case... May as well swap over, I suppose? And we could of course do the basement, but honestly I'm not actually sure there's like, you know... Anything down there that it benefits me to get, so... Uh, right, in which case, let's keep on keeping on. I've now got, yes, a good selection of stuff right here, though. Actually, you know what? Way more important than the basement now, I think about it. Here we go, Jamaica Plain Workshop. Not a particularly interesting town in all sorts of ways, because, you know, it's absolutely cocky tiny. Because it only covers, like, you know, a tiny, tiny corner of the town. But... What might be useful is utilising this location as a caravan daisy chain stop-off point. After all, this has got to be in range of, uh, yes, the marina, like, easily in fact. So, uh, if one day we want to expand to Spectacle, and 100% uh, one, one day we do, like, eventually I'm going to need to build Spectacle Island, uh, because it's the only place big enough to support a city of any real scale, then, uh, yes, we're going to need to daisy chain along Jamaica, past the castle, on to Spectacle. Oh, and even more excitingly, right, I think Elias has had, you know, enough of a sulk at this point. Next time we're in Concord, uh, he's willing to have a chat to me about how I'm the vastly superior hunter. Magnificent. Okay, don't get distracted, though. Number one, I set this plot as caravan. And number two, I'm going to need someone to man it, though... There's about to be a rad storm, isn't there? Good, 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 good. Hang on, just just find somewhere to sit down for a couple of hours till the storm passes. It's all going to be fine. Though, irritatingly, that means I'm going to lose, yes, most of the light for the rest of the day. So, right, let's make this happen nice and fast now. Just need a tiny bit of ceramic to make this work. So, okay, someone somewhere has got to have, like, you know, a bathroom we can break down, right? It turns out no one's got a bathroom. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because, uh, hang about, just break you down. You're ridiculously heavy. That's oil we can take with us down the line. There's going to be coffee mugs, okay? Just give me a second. I'll get you some coffee mugs. Right. One a recruitment beacon. A magnificent. And one small generator that can now power everything, including, yes, this stand right here. I think it needs to be powered, uh, so okay. That's on, that's powered, everything's powered, in fact, so... Okay, normally, the first person shows up in, like, no time whatsoever. And there we go, one caravan, welcome to the network. And, oh, speaking of which, welcome to my new society, by the way. I'm, like, 90% sure I take care of all the local zombies. As yeah, the peninsula with the castle can be a bit dangerous. I'm gonna spend the night here and I strongly suspect I'm gonna get sick when I wake up because uh, we're probably out of the grace period at this point. And actually, you know what? We are A-OK. -okay. Bit misty, which is a shame, but hopefully that will fade over time. Okay, good luck with the caravan, by the way. Say hi to, you know, the marina if you nip back there at some point. I'll see you later. Even with, yeah, a bit of early morning mist, I should be able to navigate nice and easy. That's going to be, yeah, the outskirts of a university point. Don't worry about that. Did I ever kill the death claw that was round here last time I was passing by, by the way? I can't remember if I did. So, okay, maybe stay like, you know, uh, this side of the road, uh, just in case. Now, uh, 
Yeah, this peninsula can be a bit on the wild side. Like, there's a good chance of a decent number of raiders. But I have seen, you know, a, a Brotherhood Vertebird uh, doing circuits around here as well. Uh, could have already taken plenty of it out. And so far... Suspiciously quiet. And if we get very lucky, there might be nothing as we go down. But typically, yeah, there's a bit of chaos, particularly on the one plaza that's on the way just before you get to the corner that leads around to the castle. So just, you know, uh, stay alert. Mojo in this direction. There's definitely like, you know, uh, Myalurks in the building on the right, but... Shouldn't be anything uh, too difficult to deal with. There's one mile oak right there. All right, buddy. You're just a basic, so please just turn in this direction. You should go down and no uh, trouble. Okay. Then we could clear it. It's probably nothing too dangerous, to be honest. You know what? Sure. Just toss in a yeah, couple of uh, frag grenades straight over the top over there. Just wake up the locals. A uh, little bit more, please. A little bit more. Okay. Let's just, you know, make sure this route is nice and safe while we're passing by. Why is my brain telling me there's Milex? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm seeing something round here. Nothing too dramatic. That was just in the back. That was, like, you know, unnecessary. I mean, it could be eggs going to hatch, potentially. I could have sworn there were more Myalurks round here, though. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, I suspect. Oh, dear. Um, right, I definitely just saw one. Okay, Hunter. That's fine. You're just a soft shell. That's not a problem. Oh, the Hunter could be more of a problem, though. Right, just go for John, not the shell. The shell is the one bit you don't want to cooking. Oh, this guy's in a really bad position right now. Just let him get a tiny bit. I don't like letting him get a tiny bit closer. Right, now we go for the head. And this is... Okay. That's fine. He's in a stagger right now. We're not going to finish him, but there we go. Caution. Hunters. Hunters are scary. They're acid cooking hurts. But... Okay. Good to know. Like, you know, my instincts were not entirely wrong. Oh, and hang on, I think I just saw in the corner of my eye. Oh, well, a hello, legendary glowing. Oh, you're a bit on the, um... You're a bit on the tough side. Okay, that's that's a bit of a concern, actually. Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. Now, hang on, where are you and which way are you trying to uh, get to me? Hello over there, don't mind me. Okay, now he's mutated. Uh, ha, ha, that was... That was a bit nasty. What's the best way to deal with you? I mean, the combat shotgun's got... Actually, that's got an inferior rate of fire. More damage per shot, though. So, right, you just come over here. Let's just see if we can... Yeah, let's start breaking the legs. I'm deliberately aiming kind of down a bit here. You're a bit on the fast side. That's fine. Now you're stuck on a corner. Just straight in the head. And if we're lucky, right, we do have a crit in a hand right now. No, 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 no. We are golden. Down you go. And that gets me the level up. Duelist. Duelist is very, very bad. Like, that should be at least a 50%. And even then it would be garbage. Oh, and hello, sexy. One more Razor Claw, but he's immediately been pulled into something else. We've got ourselves, and I suspect I've just been pulled into something else too. Hang about, hang about, hang about. Just a hatchling. Okay, just take out you. There we go. Take out you. Lovely. Right, now, who won that fight between Razor Claw and the Institute over there, which I'm pretty sure is what's going on? You know what? I'm going to call this a huge win. Those two are now just going to batter each other. And I feel like potentially uh, the Myalurk's going to win. Which is delightful. So okay, free legendary. Right, while that's going on, just make sure you were not legendary, unfortunately. Who's actually winning back over there? Just make sure we know what's going on. You're looking in like, you know, a pretty good shape. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel like you got, you know... 
bad pathway done. No, 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 no. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, well, now you're going for me. Well, this is not what I wanted at all, is it? Okay, just go for you. Go for a few shots against you. John, it's legendary. It's legendary and it's not. How is that only 27? There we go. 95 for some reason at the end there. Okay, down you go. Right. Legendary's dead, unfortunately. Yes, by the looks of it. Um, he got, like, you know, round the back of a car where a gigantic myelite couldn't get to him. But I'll tell you what. Penetrating's actually sort of interesting on a rifle. And the reason I say that is because, well, one, actually I've got to level up anyway, so that's good. But, um, yes, Rifleman actually means you're ignoring 30% of a target's armor already. So, kind of stack penetrating on top of Rifleman, all of a sudden, you're basically saying, hey, you don't get armor anymore. It's not bad, you know. It's not bad at all. That could be interesting. And speaking of that, okay. I did have a thought just today as I sat down, which is, uh, John... You do a lot of vats, like, a lot of vats. You really enjoy vats. So why'd you never, like, ever take perception beyond five up to some of the really damn good perception perks? Like, I think I may have literally never taken these at any point during any run. So uh, today we start fixing that because uh, I would love to play around with Penetrator. So, uh, okay. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to start moving our perception in the right direction. Like, I think the problem for me is uh, there are like, you know, a couple of really garbage perks in the mid to upper levels of perception. Like, Night Person is garbage. Refractor is complete and total garbage. Like, one of the worst perks in the game. It's awful. But then you get to Sniper and Penetrator and Concentrated Fire. So... Uh, Okay, we're going to be playing with some new toys as this run goes on. Right, and that brings us a pretty much straight round to, uh, yes, the lovely area right here. You're just uh, popping up. That's... I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting two of you here. I thought it was only one, but... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Excuse me. Please, please stop running at me and... Oh, dear. Well, this is not doing as much damage as it should do, is it? Okay, and now now your own dead friend is getting in the way. Well, that's just no good at all. So, just got the kill in time there. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. Okay, Preston, like we were saying, let's take back the castle. And don't you worry, I've been studying the layout of our target carefully. And I have come up with a genius strategy. Let's not overcomplicate this. Just get in there and hit them with everything we've got. If you say so. Okay, part one of this mission should be a nice and simple. Just a pop up, get everything's attention, in they cock and go, and yeah, just shoot down at anything that looks vaguely like a Myalurg. Nice, easy XP, lovely. Kind of feel like I'm, yeah, detecting that extra perception immediately. Magnificent. There's also, like, you know, babies popping up here. Make sure we take out the babies before they distract my fellow minute man. Magnificent. Good, 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 good. Okay. Well, this is all going, excuse me. I'm pretty sure one of the babies is biting me right now. No, no, no. Bad smaller hatchling. What the hell is that? Oh, uh-oh. Um, I'm going to be honest, I may have, um, activated the Queen a tiny bit earlier than I was expecting to, because I thought she didn't activate till, uh, yes, like, you know, many, many more things were dead. Like, is she? Oh, she's okay, that's... Right, there's a Queen here now. There's a Queen coming in. That's, that's unfortunate. That's, okay, just, just, ow, okay, also there's... She's woken up babies. Can she do that? Is that one of her powers? I didn't think that was one of her powers. But but okay. Everything's uh, everything's fine. Aside from the fact there's now a queen and I have not mined up the area. And also she's... Okay, this is, this is... Okay, get inside. Just, just get inside. Uh, okay, we can use the doorways uh, as cover. I want to get over to... Uh, yes, this location over here. There's more space inside... Uh, to work with. I could just move from cover to cover to take her out from here. This shouldn't be too difficult, all things considered. Just literally keep laying down the fire. The moment you see acid in the air, just move over to the next location. Should be absolutely a-okay. Wish I had some damage over time, and I'm also being attacked by... 
No, seriously, could she, like, you know, wake up her babies to assist her? Because I swear, all of a sudden, babies are just, like, you know, waking up and, oh, there's so cocking many. No! Bad, small, like, baby prawns or whatever. Okay, I'm increasingly suspicious that she has woken up every egg that we had not yet destroyed. And I did not know that was a thing she could do. But it really feels like a thing she's done. Because all of a sudden, the cocking hatchlings are just coming out of the cocking walls. Okay, whatever's going on down at south, as she is, yes, temporarily staggered. Let's just use the vats to keep an eye on how she's doing. So, right. The shell is broken. I'm not sure whether that actually really does anything. She's spitting at someone else, possibly Preston. We're going for a soft bit of her right now. I think she's out of babies to throw at us. So in which case, hang about and... No, she's... Cock me, there are a lot of babies here all of a sudden. Seriously, just look at the cocking pile of baby corpses here. This is ridiculous. And in just a second... Bloody hell, down she goes. Okay, all remaining eggs, I think, are now done with. So, okay, we can just wrap up this mission by... Well, there's definitely more eggs here. I think we could just pick up and eat these. But you know what? No, 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 no. They all go splat now. That was a bit hairy, actually. Little bit of a power for our brand new Radio McJibble. Lovely. Okay, that gets taking independence done, and that should restore Preston to his normal state, and now that mission's done. Meaning I should be able to immediately turn in, yes, Abernathy's business to him. The Minutemen are on a roll. I helped that settlement you sent me to, and cleared the way for a new settlement in the process. That's fantastic news. We're gonna take back the whole Commonwealth from the bad guys at this rate. And that puts me straight on to Nordhagen. Right, so we've got Nordhagen on the books. Marvellous. Next time we're passing by that direction, we'll go and check in with them. And we've also got just enough material to, uh, yes, get some more people. No, 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 don't store that. Plug that into the network, please. So, okay. That's now on. We should have new people arriving, because, yeah, we've got one person right now... But he's committed to working on the radio thing. I don't think you can actually, like, you know, reassign him or anything. So, as soon as someone new shows up, they should join the caravan. And speak of the devil, someone has just appeared out of cocking nowhere. Brilliant. I do enjoy, by the way, how he just routinely built a Brahmin out of basic building materials. It's marvellous. And just to confirm, okay, immediately we're in the network. So, uh, right, so the caravan network now extends uh, to the castle. These guys can now build what they want here using my resources being generated elsewhere, which is marvellously good news because, uh, yeah, that means I could just, you know, uh, lay down some basic plots for them. And then, yeah, because we've got a beacon that's on and attracting new people, then as people arrive, they'll just, you know, move on to plots, build them, etc, etc. The castle can now basically take care of itself. So, one a basic martial plot at the front door. And you know what? I kind of like the idea of, yeah, in the castle, all the housing is up on the walls. So, like, you know, you've got housing all around and business in the centre. Okay, a housing up top, a farming business and entertainment down below. Uh, we'll come back to these guys later and see how they're getting on. But yes, indeed. Time to get on to what I consider to be, yes, the real business we're doing today. Moseying round the corner to the South Boston Police Station. I'm not 100% sure what's between me and there exactly. But my brain's saying there's like... Is this where the Super Mutant Restaurant is? It might be, you know. Oh, yeah. Just beyond there. I'm definitely right. Because, uh, yeah, I can literally see uh, hanging gore bags, etc. So, uh, what we probably want to do is bypass that. Down into the water. I'm probably going to get sick sooner or later. But, no, that's just entertainment. People are arriving at the castle. Setting up bits and pieces. Lovely. So, okay, yeah. The caravan network is uh, most definitely uh, doing its job. Now, what precisely lives here? Because I can literally hear... Okay, that's just a miler. That's no trouble at all. That was the wrong way, buddy. That was the wrong way. Right. 
eyes open. Because seriously, this is kind of unknown territory for me, actually. So, okay, just a handful of eggs. Don't worry about them. Into here. Help myself to any convenient oil. These side sheds tend to be very good for oil, etc. What lives inside this junkyard? Oh, well, more mutants, John. Obviously, that's mutant architecture. Right. We need to come up with, like, you know, a good, safe way in and out of this place if we want to be, like, you know, visiting on the regular if these guys are a proper faction. So, okay. Straight through another junkyard. But, there's our destination. Right over there, the police station. So, uh, okay, we may need to, like, you know, uh, cut a path from here going back towards uh, the Commonwealth proper. So, all right, this should be our destination. So, let's see what these guys have got to say. Because, yes, this is definitely not like, you know, an occupied building, etc., etc., in the original game. Most definitely not. This is just a ruin. Hey, bub. They're not here. Already gone off to beat down those gunners. Mr. Jared wants to meet you down at the docks back east. And then I have to stop talking or you'll never fucking get there, he says. So... I'm shutting up now. Have a ball. Bye. All right. So they've already gone off somewhere. They were saying to take out gunners. Well, basically, uh, screw gunners. So, okay then. Sadly, I can't loot the place on the way past. Not yet, anyway. Upstairs, though, they do have a workbench. And, okay, we're still lacking in the aluminium. Also, because I went and got the Christmas DLC last week, we can now add Christmas paint or snowflakes paint. Oh, go on, why not? Okay, well, fortunately, whatever's going on, it's only just around the corner. So, uh, yeah, bare minimum, uh, we will be going in with backup. Whoever, yes, this police department is, precisely. So, okay, pretty much straight back the way I came in. And, uh, okay, he's going to be somewhere over here. Simon Fossetti, right over there. And... Uh, Lena Forsette. Right. Might be a family business by the Luke Siobets. Start talking or I'm gonna turn your head into a sieve. If you just give us the information we want, I can guarantee that you'll get a fair trial. A fair trial? What are you? Just fucking talk. I will blow your fucking head off if you don't. I don't think your boyfriend will like that. Brother. I'm her brother. And that sure doesn't make me someone who could stop her from shooting you. Guys, we've got company. Hey, you over there. Get me out of this and there's caps in it for you. Shut it, you piece of shit. You! Who are you and what are you doing here? Okay, it looks to me like, yes, jared has been shot, unfortunately, by a member of the Gunners and... Uh, don't worry, I was actually invited. Hey, it's okay. They're the one Caleb told us about. I kinda asked him along. Oh, shit. Shandy got you the message then. What took you so long? Okay, I'm a protagonist, all right? I've got like 16 things on the go any one day. So, uh, yes, indeed. He's a good kid. Uh, don't yell at him. It wasn't his fault. I was busy like, you know, uh, putting on a Christmas celebration back at my hometown. He's a good kid. Yeah, he's a keen one. Sure likes to make himself useful. Maybe someone else can explain why we're here while I rest and wait for that last stem pack to do its thing. Well, we're here to ensure that justice is done. These people are murderers, and we need more information. Okay, so, sounds to me like, yeah, Gunner's shot Jared, they've captured, presumably, the same Gunner, and they're playing good cop, bad cop. Now, there's mention on one side of it, you'll get a fair trial, there's mention on the other half of we will shoot you. So, uh, right, this guy might be the reasonable half of this pairing, we'll have to say. So, uh, yes, indeed. Just explain more, buddy. What's going on here? Tell me how I can help. We need her to give us the location of the rest of her unit. Then they can face justice for their crimes. Look, I can get it out of her. You just need to get out of my way and let me work. Okay, so... Uh, Ideally, I'll get this done so you don't have to torture her, because, like, you know, I'm good at the old charisma business. 
I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey! I was here first! What makes you think you can do better than me? Lena, why not let them have a go? It can't hurt, and if she still isn't talking, you can have another try. Fine. She's all yours. Let's see what you can do. Yeah. What can you do? Okay, well what I can do as a starting off point is, hang on, let me just step away from this conversation for a second, is put on a fantastically beautiful dress and also a really cocking fancy hat. And also, John, why are you not wearing... You're not wearing your right leg, John, because you literally just took off all your clothes to put on aforementioned fancy dress. John, keep up. Oh yeah, Charisma 10. Now you're in trouble. All right, talk. Hey, you're a reasonable person. Promise to keep this one from killing me and I'll give you what you want. Okay, now that there, that sounds like a good deal. We want the information, you don't want to get shot. Everybody wins, damn it. Deal. Good, we have a deal. So, I'll tell you all about the worst hellhound there is. He's called the Butcher. Real psycho he is. Let us on raids, kills in all kinds of nasty ways. I can tell you where to find him. Okay, it sounds like we've got someone, you know, potentially high up and serious inside the gunners to take out. Gonna need some more information. Okay, more info. I can do that. Well, we called him the Butcher because of how he chops up his victims. We had to go long or he'd chop us up too. He left us to set up as a raider. He's got a secret hideout that I can point you to if you're letting me go. Better kill him quickly, though. He's deadlier than he looks. And if you let him get close, he'll chop you up like all the others. Okay, someone sufficiently nasty that yes, they left the gunners uh, to go set up their own raider gang. And uh, why do I get the feeling uh, when she says, you know, kill him quick, don't let him get close, etc, etc. Potentially, he might have a different story to tell. Where are they holed up? Right, okay. <laughs> You're letting me through, yes? Okay, the butcher set up his base. Shit! Oh! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Came from over there. We've got company. Okay, somebody shot her before. Blimey, okay, hang on, we got ourselves a... Right, there they are, the hellhounds. So just to put a couple of bullets in them. Guys, 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 guys. Just a couple of shots in the arm there. Lovely. You go down and we might be able to get something off the corpses, potentially. One more and... Excuse me, please... Please come back. I'm attempting to murder you and I've got a flashlight on. So you really should know where I am, actually. It's okay. One and two. Nice and easy. Right, down you go. Let's get the information off your corpses and... Something just exploded. What was it? Okay, it was just something caught to the crossfire. No trouble. No trouble at all. Hey, I'm really glad you chose to come. I gotta sit down and get my breath back now. Okay, nothing yet, but... Blimey, okay, fine, everything's exploding. I need to know more about you people, though. We're the Commonwealth Police Department. Well, the beginnings of it. We've got big plans, though. And those plans are first and foremost to get justice for what these animals did. Now, everyone's had a rough day. Maybe we should get back to the station, where we can tell you all about what's going on. Explanations go better with a full belly, and not worrying about reinforcements coming over the ridge. We'll meet up at South Boston Police Station. Okay, he's not wrong, but like I'm not done looting the corpses yet, buddy. Right, and the other bodies appear to have just sort of, um, disappeared actually. Possibly they took them back to the police station, I'm not sure, but yeah. Nothing on these guys as far as I can tell. Okay, back to base, guns away, and let's see if we can, yes, get a bit more of a full story and try and figure out whether I actually trust these guys or not, though... You know what? Bare minimum, I've completed the introduction mission. Beautiful. And you know what? We're gonna stick to the plan. More cocking perception. So up to... Blimey, perception 7. That feels weirdly high. Like, this may be the highest perception I've ever had on a character. Like, you know, as the base stat and whatnot. And yes, indeed, by the looks of it, this is exactly what I was hoping for, which is... Uh, this is not just, you know, uh, one character who wants me to do one thing. We've got Jared, who seems to be in charge, Simon, who seems to be the cool head, and Lena, who enjoys murdering people. 
by the sounds of it, all of them are gonna want me to do something. And I'm guessing if I make friends with them, yes, I might be able to access their terminals and whatnot. Because right now, unfortunately, access denied are only serving CPD personnel. So, right. This might actually be a proper little faction we can help out in some capacity. So, how about having joined up with these guys, we call it a part there. But next week... Oh, we're getting straight on with this. This is delightful. So yes, indeed, we need to figure out what Lena, Simon and Jared want me to do and help these little guys out in their fight against the Gunners. Because, uh, you know what? I don't like the Gunners either, so a couple of extra allies might be just the flipping thing. So hopefully you join me next week for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerds. And this has been Fallout 4. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go! Go away! Go away, nobody likes you! That was a good idea till it wasn't.